Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Create Up. Welcome to Paramount Pictures, Paramount Studio in Hollywood, where all the major Hollywood movie happen right here. Today, I'm doing some VR behind the scene for the event happening inside there. You can't see it; it's VR 180. Is VR on the lot. So I will interview some influencer, some thought leader in the VR, AR, XR industry to ask them their thought, their idea about the future of VR, AR, any art industry. Look behind me, this giant Christmas tree. Just gonna be there for you guys. So hopefully you guys can see this in VR 180. So now I'm inside the Paramount Studio and as you see behind me, we have AR wall and all the other vendor right here. So, so tell us, like, what is this interesting setup? Like chairs you're sitting on? Like, 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 what, what is that? We gotta set a mood, but it, this also is wired up to a button, buttons in the back that control the chair. Control so, the chair. What do you mean yeah. control the chair? So there's like there's like shocking devices and different types of uh, elements going through the actual uh, that correlate to the experience itself. Uh huh. Whoa. So it's actually you know we have we do have what to call like live electricity and shocking. Yes. Uh -huh. and so one of those here. Wait. So around her hand, there's a electricity goes through. Yeah. And so obviously people have to sign, sign a, a waiver. waiver. Can you show the camera? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sign so a waiver. Sign a waiver to actually experience. The actual now we have uh, Renee Amador. I'm the CEO of AR Wall. Renee, tell us a little bit about AR Wall. What is it? Yeah, so AR Wall is an augmented reality tech company. Uh, we were founded in January of 2017, so we're a pretty new company. Last year. Uh, yeah, just last year. Um, nevertheless, we're here at uh, On the Lot 2018 on the Paramount Lot, uh, showing off some of the work that we've already done, as well as the new stuff that we've been working on, uh, primarily. Uh, that has been AR effects, which is a uh, short for or augmented reality effects, uh -huh. which is uh, we're saying is the uh, next form of motion picture effects after visual effects. So visual effects is what most people are familiar with. It uses mm -hmm. green screen and CGI, and it's all done in post production. Yes. Uh, AR effects is a little bit different. It's entirely on set. There's no post production involved, Whoa. and you capture all the CGI in camera on set. So it's, uh, it's an update to what people might be familiar with, with rear projection, uh -huh. which was uh, a technology that we used prior to green screen to make an actor appear as if they were somewhere that they were not. What you're looking at here on this, uh, on this view screen here effects. Oh. So as this uh, entire setup is moving back and forth in six degrees of freedom, uh -huh. the background is updating in real time. So you can see the background updating back there. Uh -huh. uh, and from a third person perspective, it doesn't look like much. It looks like weird and skewed. But from the perspective of the camera, yeah. this actually looks like a window into the virtual environment. Yeah. So it looks like this is a continuous space uh -huh. uh, from the physical set into the virtual environment. So what this would then give you the flexibility to do is shoot your entire scene in front of this big, big, gigantic uh, LED video wall instead of green screen. And the point here is we're going to save you 40% off of your effects budget, and there's no post-production involved. That's the big one, no post-production involved. So the entire cast and crew can see the final illusion right there on set. Okay, now we are at Google booth. With me here, we have Jason Nagarian. So Jason, tell us a little bit about what, what is this all this? Yes, yes, absolutely. So this is one of our light field capture cameras, uh -huh. and uh, it's an array of 16 GoPros. Uh -huh. And what happens is it actually spins around, and I can show you how that yeah. works a little bit. spins around like this. Oh, awesome. So it does about a few revolutions. Uh -huh. And so with that, we get a spherical array of outward facing images. Uh -huh. And with that, we put it through our cloud processing pipeline. Uh -huh. And uh, after about a bit, 
it, uh, it generates a light field file for us. So a light field, I like to describe it as a, a volumetric capture of volumetric a scene. Capture. So okay. right now we're showcasing stills. Okay. So basically using a VR headset, mm -hmm. 60 that you can look around, but yeah. you can also move around as well. So you have a sense of depth and parallax, uh -huh. and you have view dependent lighting. Uh -huh. uh, so any sort of reflected surfaces, uh -huh. It will change based off of where your head is, as if you were actually there. Hey, what's up, everybody? Right now, I'm in Light Planet, the booth in on the lot. So we have Halsey Miner. So Halsey, tell us a little bit about your camera. Yeah, so we spent um, three years building a complete end-to-end -end system, best of breed components that all work together, so that you can, once you kind of set the system up, you can go anywhere and do live stereoscopic, perfectly stitched streaming but the right IP di distance in about 30 minutes. 30 minutes so yeah. it takes maybe a couple of hours to get the system kind of set up. Once you've done that, you just the camera goes directly into our cloud. Mm -hmm. You can then choose which platforms, Samsung, Oculus, Daydream, and we will then do the encoding for all those platforms. It also does onboard recording. Uh, you can control it with an app, with an app on you know either phone platform. So now the sun is set. We are at night in Paramount Studio. Uh, oh, look at that, the whole Christmas tree all lit up. Let's go over there, check it out. So right now we are right under the tree in front of the Paramount Pictures, the side right there. And it's pretty cold right here, so I stand next to a fireplace. But uh, I want you to enjoy the nice lit up Christmas tree up close in 3D VR 180. Enjoy that, definitely in a VR headset. I'll move it a little bit closer. The next one, just enjoy it, take it in. Because usually you can't get in here unless it's a special event. 